Okay, next we have uh, Mike from Intel presenting Apple. Hi, so I'm from uh, Intel. Um, you may kind of wonder what we're doing here uh, at the mobile space. I'm going to tell you, but before I get started, does anybody have any idea how many netbooks were sold in 2010, approximately? So, I get, it, was, it was around about sort of 58 million, somewhere in that sort of space. And I reckon about 12% of that was in the UK. So there's a huge market in the UK for, for netbooks. So, I'm here with Intel because of our app up store and the app up developer program, which just goes behind it and sort of <laughs> fill the store. Uh, okay, <laughs> uh, if anybody wants to read this, later, come and see me. Um, <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, does anybody know that Intel has, a, has an app up store? We said, okay, so this is good, so I'm going to tell you this. Um, so, yeah, we launched it about a year ago. We've had uh, just over a million downloads, individual downloads, off the store now, so it's, it's definitely growing. Uh, in the UK, we, we've partnered with, um, with Dixon's group, so all of their networks we've kind of reloaded with the, uh, their know-how app up store. And some of the benefits which from uh, an end customer point of view, we're looking at so apps for your computer, for your network, for your notebook. Um, you get to try them before you buy, so you really get to, um, to, to see what the app is like before actually spending any money on it. The, the, one of the great things about it is, is the apps are safe. They all go through a, a validation process, so there's no malware, they're child friendly, they're age appropriate. So from a, a, a parent, a consumer point of view, you don't need to worry what your children are, are using. And um, you can download it on up to five different devices with one account, so you can buy it once you've got it on your notebook, you can put it on your, your notebook. So, if I go through, um, so I'm here really because we're trying to engage with developers, we want to um, raise awareness about our developer uh, program, so app developer program. So we have um, a whole range of things that, that we do with developers, so this is the online community. We're actually having a face-to-face a, a -face training session in uh, Skills Matter next month on the 5th of, 5th of July in the evening. It's free to attend. Um, we'll be going through what the app store is all about, the app store is all about, and what the developer program is and how you can code for Migo. Um, so it's definitely worth coming along, it's free, uh, in the evening, but you need to register as places are limited. Um, you can, I'll hand out some cards in if anybody's interested with the links on. So, App Up works on both Windows 7 and Migo. So Migo is our open source operating system. Um, and there's more netbooks coming out, netbooks coming out at the end of this year, and it's just going to grow and expand. So that's kind of where we, we see this, this store sitting on all of those devices. So from a, a developer point of view, everybody likes making money, so there's a couple of ways within the store as a developer that you can, you can uh, earn revenue. And you can receive up to 70% of the price that you put on there as when somebody downloads and pays for it. So the way you can do it is the traditional way through, straight through to consumers, or you can actually develop um, components that other developers can then um, use, and you can get a commission from them, so you can work that rate out with the other developers. So if you've got a great bit of code that does something really funky with GPS or something like that, you can put it up there and say, hey, why don't you use this? But you'll, you know, I'll take some of your revenue off of you. Um, yeah, you can set your own price, so it's, it's completely up to you how much you charge for your apps. Again, the developer program. So for coding, C++, .net, Flash, Air, uh, you can use the standard Microsoft and uh, uh, Migo APIs. And the validation is done through Intel, so it takes um, a, a week or two to, to go through and make sure that the apps are, are fine and they're safe and there's no malware for the consumers. If anybody's interested, I say appdeveloper.intel.com, it's free to join, it's an online community, you can get all the, the SDKs, there's a, a, an active forum where you can ask questions and get answers from people both within Intel and outside. So, to, to sum it up, I would say visit our website, um, come along to the, uh, the App Lab in London, so it's on the 5th. July, so next month in the evening at Skills Map, so it's just around the corner. But you will need to sign up, um, and there's a link from our website. Anyone have any, have any questions? How many developers do you have so far? Um, oh, off the top of my head, I think it's somewhere in the region of about 15,000, but that might be a good to go and check. Thank you.
interesting to talk about web um, networks, et cetera, but not the tablets. So oh, the tablets actually as well. They will run on, 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 on tablets. Sorry, right. so expanded. Thank you. How did you pick your operating system? So the operating system, um, uh, Migo is uh, an Intel open source uh, operating system. So we're, we're really uh, pushing that to, you'll see net networks coming out later on this year. I think um, there have been a few announced recently that run, run the operating system. But it will also work on that on Windows as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about um, <coughs> the revenue sharing or the way you actually uh, <coughs> allow the developers to use make money on uh, making this piece of software available for others? I, absolutely. I mean, is it based on the number of users, number it's, of whatever? It's, you, you, can, um, you, you can set the amount of revenue share. So if somebody says, I, I want 7% of your, your cost price to use my bit of code, then you can do that. But as a developer, you can you can um, you can negotiate with sort of the, the other producers to see what kind of balance you want. So it's it's on a case basis. Case. Flexible on a case by case basis. So is it like a marketplace, app component marketplace? Yeah, absolutely. If you go to the adddeveloper.com, um, you can see a list of all of the, uh, the components that have already been developed. <coughs> okay. okay. Excellent. Thank you.